Do you think it'll work? It has to. Only once is all we get. Grant me this rebirth till tomorrow's sun has set. One, One day, day to walk, walk the earth. Whoa! I'm a baller, take a deep breath I'm a shark, you 70s a week I'll be up all night, day and night, day, day and night I'm a spenceman I'm a baller, take a deep breath I'm a shark, you 70s a week I'll be up all night, day and night, day, day and night I'm dope I wear fancy clothes I'm dope I wear fancy clothes It's Barley and it's Ian and we're from Disney's Aunt. Oh, and we're from, say it together. Ready? Okay, three, two, one. Hey, it's Barley and it's Ian and, and we're, we're from, from Disney's, Disney's Onward. Onward. And Patrick Starr is here to show you guys how to get these blue looks from our original movie, our Aunt. anime, <laughs> our anime. <laughs> Hi, I'm Barley and it's Ian and we're from Disney's Onward. Onward. Are we supposed to? Say it together? Are you nervous again? <laughs> Just do it. Hey, gosh, Barley. <laughs> Hey, it's Barley. And it's Ian. And, and we're, we're from, from Disney's, Disney's Onward. Onward. And today, Patrick Starr is going to show you how to get our looks from our movie Onward, where it's about two brothers finding their loved one on a quest. Follow my lead. What are we doing? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm the older brother. You're the younger brother. You're so annoying. You're annoying. Do you have the staff? No. Get I it! I want to do it. No! Get it to me. Stop! You're going to ruin it. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, this makeup tutorial is so much fun. We love Disney. We love you guys. Be sure to watch our movie on Disney Plus. Subscribe to this channel and don't forget, makeup, makeup is a one size fits, fits all. all. All right, guys, so today I am going to show you how to use prosthetics because this year, for the first time ever in Halloween, I do not have my friends Rani and Sig Neutron here to help me. If you guys haven't seen those videos in the past, uh, they are amazing, amazing makeup artists. They've done Cats on Me, they've done Shrek, and they are the masters of prosthetics. For this year, I kind of wanted to take matters into my own hands because number one, they are not available, and number two, I thought I would show you at home because not everyone can have a Sig and and a ranny at home. So we got these prosthetics from Nigel's. Um, it's a makeup store here in Los Angeles, but I'm sure you can find uh, different prosthetics down below, uh, link down below. But I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. And I did Peter's makeup right before this, and it turned out so amazing. But stay tuned for his application at the end of the video. But here I am gonna do my application to turn myself into Barley from the movie onward. I'm gonna kind of jump back and forth between voicing it over and um, doing it. That way I am fully in my concentration but yes let's enjoy this process all right guys so i'm gonna go ahead and take alcohol wipes that's why i'm squinting so freaking hard it's because the fumes are really strong so letting that dry you want to eliminate all the oils from the nose so letting that dry and now taking my q-tips and no we do not have one size beauty q-tips and some prosade and bondo so those are the ingredients that you want to adhere the prosthetic and the prosthetic was also from nigel's and it's a foam prosthetic so i take a little paper plate and I pour the prosade, which is the glue. Drag queens love using prosade for the eyebrows as well, but this is literally the professional glue for prosthetics. It's very strong, so make sure you have the proper remover as well. Peter and I were scrubbing for literally two hours, all the blue and the glue. So make sure when you're purchasing Prose, you also purchase a makeup remover. But as you can see, I'm putting it all over the nose with a Q-tip um, from my paper plate, a disposable paper plate, and Peter is helping me apply the nose as straight as he can onto my face. So pretty much like lashes, if you guys have worn lashes, you want the glue to get a little bit tacky and make sure the edges and the seams lay as flat as can be. I couldn't do this on my own because I have uh, a little bit long nails, but Peter has shorter nails, but he's helping me um, edge out the seams like so, and just getting the prosthetic on. As you can see, I, my nostrils are not cut out, so I totally forgot to cut out the nostrils, but I cut them off after. Just be careful and make sure that you cut the nostrils before, because I almost cut my own nostril because it's not the shape. But yeah, making sure you get the 
seams and allowing the glue to dry and get the fumes. I cut my nostrils out and I can breathe because it is a very heavy odor or um, scent from the glue. So prosate is the adhesive. Now the thing with blending is that you want to take Bondo and you want to take the Bondo and use it to edge the seams. It's kind of like spackle to a wall. So you know how there's that separation from the prosthetic to the skin. I'm taking Bondo on a Q-tip and just applying it in between the prosthetic and the skin to blend it out and just smoothing it and rolling the Q-tip between the prosthetic over and then taking um, a little wedge sponge and some prosade and adding a very thin layer of prosade to go over the Bondo and the prosthetic to give that seamless transition. That way it looks like one piece. It doesn't look, look like it now because um, I don't have paint on it, but that's pretty much how I apply the nose. And once you see me paint, you'll see how everything comes together. And here's the ears, apply the same thing. I knew I was wearing a wig, so I didn't use the Bondo. And when I tell you Bondo is so freaking thick, it's no joke. So I just used Prosade and adhered it to my ears or had a uh, Fabian adhere it. And that's how you apply a prosthetic. All right, guys, so now that the prosthetics are on, I feel so freaking proud of like knowing what adhesive and what blender to use because for the longest time, I thought the blender was this nose and scar wax to blend from the prosthetic to the skin, but actually it's glue that makes it look real because the glue is underneath and it on top. It, if you think about it, it kind of gets hard and it blends everything together. So again, I use prosate underneath to adhere the, well, maybe just mainly the ears, but Bondo is, the magic blender like that gives it that seamless effect and just use your q-tip and then what i did was also stippled over some prosate as well you guys just saw the talk through but i just wanted to reiterate how important it is and i'm so happy with the blend peter's nose looks so amazing i have a little elf behind the camera filming me right now but now to go through the paint i'm gonna go ahead and take and use the mac uh chroma cakes this is a water activated paint and um, this is in the color high def science so i have a little cup of water and let me just tell you, this is gonna look rinky dinky at first, but it's gonna take a little bit of water and you're gonna have to find the right consistency, almost like a wet clay. You don't wanna get it soaking wet, but you kinda wanna find this nice consistency for that blend. Do you see that? And I'm just gonna go all the way down. You see, it's already dripping because there's probably some residual water and it's gonna look streaky, but promise, it will look great if you layer and blend and layer and blend. But I'm just gonna go ahead and complete this look and get my whole face blue. All right guys, just layer and layer and layer. Do not be discouraged. Like working with a product like this that's not your traditional foundation is gonna be difficult, but you have to find that perfect ratio of water to product to get that full coverage. And the more it dries, the more you can layer. But the fact of the matter is, the more textured and the more uneven it looks, not to say that you want something uneven, it looks more real. So you'll see later I splatter the face, but when you want a character makeup, what I learned from Rand and Sig Neutron was that you just want texture to look real on the skin. So wherever, whatever chance I get, I want to add dimension. So speaking of dimension, here's me contouring the face and I'm just adding a little bit of that marine ultra blue from MAC, also a chroma cake, and just adding it to the perimeter of the face, even the ears, to just give that depth to the skin. It's gonna look so cool. And as you can see, I'm making silly facial expressions to see how the shades are um, just working on my face and um, that's that. All right guys, so I literally feel like a Smurf meets like chubby avatar from Pandora. This look already can go so many different directions. I'm just obsessed with how seamless the nose looks and this is where the Disney magic from Onward can come to life um really quick i'm gonna have peter stand beside me and you could you guys can see his shading versus mine which is actually super flat so peter this is peter super like shaded and everything and this is me flat so i'm gonna try to compliment ian 
and get Barley to be the brother. And I believe they are elves in the movie. I love the movie. So, so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the Anastasia uh, Norvina Collection palette. I believe this is volume two. And I'm gonna take the shade C2 right here. A little bit of C2 and B5. And I'm gonna go ahead and set with this tiny brush like around my eyes and just use what you have. I'm gonna sit right here. And what's crazy is that I had to, like you guys saw in the time lapse, I had to use a bunch of layers of different products. So don't be afraid because it's gonna like come to life. So right now I'm just gonna set it with a common shade blue. This is very reminiscent of the Genie tutorial. If you guys haven't seen that, check it out. Will Smith loved it so much he reposted it on his Instagram. Set everything because, you know, if you want your character to be expressive, you know, the last thing you want to do on Halloween is melt. So I'm going to set the rest of this and I'll be back for the shading. All right, so for the shading, this is like the fun part where you can bring the character to life. I wanted to show you guys at home something easier so I didn't block my brows. I did the same thing with Peter just to keep the prosthetics like probably the most advanced thing and next to shading. But this is where you have fun because a lot of the shading comes to life because you're able to express yourselves. And what you're gonna do is pretty much fill in and shade your expression. So I'm gonna try my best to not do the Patrick Star features, but compliment the nose and also like my facial expressions because Barley's like really chubby. And um, I like how I blocked out the lips. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Certify Affinity 2 palette. It says dream without fear, love without limits. I love that. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and take these shades right here, this blue and this blue. I'm gonna go ahead and just start with the eyes. Already, can y'all see the character coming to life? What I've been doing is just having a picture of the animation um, next to me and the character and just watching a few clips and just studying the expression and just doing what I can with what I got. And again, this is Halloween. Have fun with it and just shade away. Okay, we are getting somewhere. Since these are boy characters, it's so funny. Like if this was a girl Smurf, I wouldn't emphasize the under eyes as much because it. I have like very feminine eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and emphasize like my under eye bags a little bit, just so I'm giving brother masculine, expressive, and fun. And I wanna make my eyes look super big, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the inner corner. You see what I'm doing here? And just adding a lot of shading right in this area. And that's gonna make the eyes look super animated. You know, over the years, I wanna say I have grown to love Halloween a little bit more and more each year because there are new characters to do. I love painting myself in color. I love being ugly. I love being ooky spooky. I feel like I can do glam anytime of the year. And I'm not at a place in my life where I'm confident enough to be thoughty. So camp and Disney it is for me. If you guys didn't see the cloud tutorial, that was so much fun. I think scary for some people. A lot of my friends were saying like, oh my God, that was so scary. But um, check it out if you guys wanna be a clown. Interpret it how you will. Okay, next is the fun part. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the nose. So when you have a prosthetic nose, I would say start with the nostrils and you can build up from there. I'm trying my best to not make it a contoured snatch nose because I obviously wanted a bigger, more character nose. So I'm gonna take that same shade that I've been using in that certified palette and then use that pretty much all over the face. But I like to start with the nostrils. Look at this transformation right here. Guys, as you can see, this is not advanced at all. I kept my top lip like not shaded. I kind of emphasized my smile lines and the under of my bottom lip to give it that like brother, like chubby look. And I brought the bottom of my chin shaded up and I left it highlighted like down here. So it gave it like that chubbier. 
the look. Next is the details. So I'm gonna go ahead and add Point Made black eyeliner to my eyes, very, very thin, just to give it that little emphasis to make my eyes look bigger. And after that, I'm gonna take Marine Ultra and go ahead and give me some blocky brows with this acrylic paint by MAC Pro, which is a very strong paint, which I have been loving for years. So this blue should tie in the look together. Oh my gosh, you guys, I almost forgot the ears. I forgot I have these things on. But I'm just gonna go ahead and take this dark blue shade that I've been using and just add dimension. And I don't necessarily have like a specific, I'm just more quick with it. But just shade it from the outside and you're gonna start to see the ears come to life. Okay, now for blush, I'm gonna go ahead and take this Anastasia Volume 1 palette and this hot pink up here, A5, right here. And I'm just gonna blush across the cheek, almost like I'm embarrassed. Looks like a stain, but <laughs> we'll make it work. I took the Certify Affinity palette from earlier and this hot pink right here. Just make sure it stands out above the blue. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm take that statement back. I'm gonna take this Process Magenta by MAC, this is the Chroma Paint, and kind of try my best to get this pink idea across the face. Trust, trust, trust the process. Trust the process. All right, so this blush kind of worked, kind of didn't, but we're just gonna make do um, with what we got. Um, Cause it's just character makeup. Just interpret the character how you wanna interpret it. And this is my interpretation. My blush is a little bit bruised. It's, it's as cute as I can get it. <laughs> and if you go a little bit crazy, you could take your brush. It should be like dry, a little bit more dry or damp. By now, don't dip it in, but you can kind of like tame it down. Just like that. Hi! Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in and take some R. Del Wispies, apply this to give the, the eyes just a little pop of detail, nothing too big or crazy, because I'm playing a boy today. And um, I'll be right back. All right, guys, it is coming together. I am so happy, very Disney, very animated, very strong with the profile. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take that Process Magenta. Ah! That is ghetto. Okay, so plopped it back in. Um, it is very dry, clearly. I'm gonna go ahead and take this. Ooh, a little too much water. I'm gonna take a little bit of that process magenta, watch this, and brush it through the ears to give it a little bit of a look. How cute. I mean, it's not perfect. It's just, Really fun to see the colors just come together. But how cool are the ears? Like the dimension, the blush. I'm gonna add a little bit of that magenta. Right there on the lip. Very subtle, not, not too feminine, not too, not too feminine, not too feminine, not too feminine. Mask. <laughs> All right, guys, now this is the fun part. So I had given Peter freckles. So I'm gonna skip the freckles because I feel like that's more like an adolescent, like cutesy look. But for Barley, Barley, I could barely remember. But for Barley, I'm gonna go ahead and give him some character and age spots. And what that's gonna do is gonna give this realistic type of look to the character. Cause you could see it's like a little bit flat. So I feel like some, age spots or character spots will give this look a lot of dimension. So what you're gonna do is take a brush that's very flimsy and flexible, dip it into some water, dip it into the dark marine aqua water activated chroma cake. And we wanna get this kind of like a little bit more wet consistency and then flick the brush. Yes, it's all over my chest, but <laughs> try to get it on the face. <laughs> I 
Oh, that's good. Do you see that, guys? That's good. That's what we're looking for. I'm gonna go ahead and try the rest of the face, and I'll be right back. If your hand is not looking a mess, then did you really splatter on your face? But you guys can't really see it from the far camera, but up close, I don't know if you can really get into it, Peter, but this is giving the um, realistic skin texture character makeup because this is fantasy, but I think uh, we're taking a Pixar animated film and turning it into something that's a hybrid between human and Disney animation, but this uh, technique really ties the look together. I learned that from Randy and Sig. Uh, Neutron and props to them, they're so talented and I'm so happy that I learned abundantly from them too. And I hope you guys learned a little bit from me here as well, but without further ado, do, I'm gonna go ahead and change and I'll be right back with Peter for the finished look. I'm a specimen, I'm a baller, take a deep breath. I'm a shark, you 70s a week, I'll be up on night, day and night, day, day and night. I'm a specimen, I'm a baller, take a deep breath. I'm a shark, you 70s a week, I'll be up on night, day and night, day, day and night. <laughs> I wear fancy clothes. I'm a hell of a woke. I got hell of a As I learn to die, I'm a bring the show. Anywhere I go, live a life to the maximum. All day and night. I could be your captain, live a life of dreams and live a life of fashion. I'ma lift you up before I throw you out. Cause you can live your life sitting down. I'm a king, I'm a boss, I'ma spend, let it cost. Let me live my life with blitz in the fast lane. I'ma be on top of the world, watch it happen. I'm a best man, I'm a baller, take a deep breath. I'm a shark, you 70s a week, I'll be up all night. Day and night, day, day and night. All day and night, all day and night. All day and night. You guys, this is our finished look. Peter is repping Ian with the blue hair, the wig, the curls, the face, the freckles, the hands, the costume, the staff. And I'm over here representing Barley from Disney's Onward as the big guy. Look at this vest, look at the shirt, look at the face, look at the ears, and check out our noses. And check out our face, the makeup. This was so much fun. We're both obsessed with the movie. We hope you guys get to watch it if you guys haven't had the chance. Disney just turns it out with the story, the messaging, and most of all, um, love for one another, between brothers, between family, and we hope you guys walk away just having fun watching my videos here on YouTube. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to comment down below, subscribe, this, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget, makeup is a one size fits all, and hope to see you all in my next video. Bye! Bye.